this whole wall um, on under light at once if we want. It helps us to have two sets going at once. So if you have a talk show and a performer, you can do it at the same time. Also, we, we selected an area on the phone. There's an X over there somewhere on the floor. And that is for people who want to stand in front of a green screen and speak or in front of any of the curtains and speak and they're, they're lit from uh, both sides have a backlight and everything. So it's a real nice lighting situation. So we've improved it just a little bit. And we added um, a Kina flow light like that an extra one for the floor. We had two and now we have a third one. So that means we can light up the green screen behind somebody and then if we want to, if they're, if we need to light them from head to toe, we can do that with that light. So it just makes, it makes keying a little better. And they're just handy lights. You can roll them all around. Thanks to someone who identified a rolling stand. That's the most amazing thing that ever. That was Ron. <laughs> yeah, that was great. <laughs> that was an excellent tool. Um, and um, let's see, did we do another thing? I guess that was it, the Kino flow is what I was thinking of. <coughs> um, we're also, um, uh, we have learned from our uh, co-working people that they feel that the um, co-working center is too clean. It's, uh, <laughs> too, uh, it's too zen in there, Sterile. it's too elegant, there's nothing in it. They feel like they're adrift in a sea of white. So um, I had a designer come in and, and uh, it, try to develop some ideas that we had, and he did come up with some good things. We have moved some of the furniture around. We are going to be removing the cubicles because no one really wants them. They did at first, it's the weirdest thing. Everybody wanted them, and then now nobody does. So uh, we found something else that we think will work better for there, and uh, we're making a, a change there. The idea is that it would sort of be like a walled garden in there. We're gonna try to put um, uh, more greenery on the walls and make that a little more interesting with some fun fun photo realistic murals. So it'll look like you're working inside a walled garden and we'll have some plants around and um, we're working right now to get the, um, we, we removed the wooden columns that used to be in there that had the power in them and we have electricians working on getting that flat in the floor. We do have, the building has what's called walker channels which are um, kind of open areas under the floor that you can get to from a port and you can run wires through them. So uh, we utilize those to fire up a bunch of the um, old bank ones that were sitting there and now um, we added a few. They weren't recessed when <laughs> they're sitting up like that. So they're real hazards. So we're uh, working to get them recessed. And um, we should be doing that soon, yes? If you're doing all this work, uh, have the people who thought it was a little non-Zen, have they looked at it and thought this would be Zen? <laughs> <coughs> no, but the uh, co-working designer expert thought okay. so. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. We're, and then we're also doing something to the kitchen. Um, the kitchen, they described to me as soulless. <laughs> so, uh, Maybe I should bring some in my office. It has a lot of soul. <laughs> 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 we can just all bring our things from home. <laughs> so the, and we have some problems with getting, like the dishwasher fills up and it's huge, so no one wants to empty it. They just want to get their cup and go. So we're putting, we're looking at putting in two small drawer type ones. So one's empty and one's full, and you oh, could just good. quickly put all the cups away. That's not a big deal. And yeah. and you know when you're in there and it's the end of the day, you're thinking, oh my god, unload this entire dishwasher so I can put my dirty cup in, or shall I just leave it in the sink? Uh -huh, yeah. So um, we get a lot of cups left in the sink. So we're looking at ways to make it efficient and usable, which is right. kind of a challenge because the first thing they told me was, well, just put everything in the cupboards. Well, that's just not going to work. People want to make toast. They're yeah. not going to like pull out a toaster, plug it in, make some toast, put it back, wipe off the counter. Well, that's not going to happen. Yeah. So um, they're working on possibly a U-shaped counter so we can build in a place for appliances where they can be used and, and not be, you know, mucking up a whole tiny counter. Yeah. And a bigger refrigerator so we can share it maybe with Armada, like a big double door like restaurant kind, mm -hmm. so we don't have to have two refrigerators on opposite sides of the room. Yeah. And uh, we'll probably do some, that carpet is really old and, and it was always on my list to replace, so we're going to do something on the flooring in there. So anyway, nice. we'll make it fun. It'll be a little more loungy and less kitcheny and, and maybe attract more people. No one wants to work or eat in there. <laughs> so, so and that's, you know, kind of cool space to use, so we, we're not getting enough use out of it. So we're doing some, we're doing some fun things. It'll be It'll be nice soon. Just wait till next month. Exciting. Um, and I'm just a little more on our uh, equipment grant. We are delivering our equipment to Aptos High School um, Thursday. So that'll be really fun. So we'll launch them into a new, a new level of production, and we'll get some nice programming for our channel. 
and um, we're expecting to see something from Watsonville pretty soon now. They've had their equipment for a couple of months. There was holidays in there and stuff, so um, they're still still working on it. But they should be providing us with some sports soon. Excellent. And that's that's my report for very nice for okay. December. Uh, can I ask a question about the, the back to the captioning? So yes. is the YouTube channel is that uh, the idea is that is a uh, is that a stopgap measure until we get the Teleview and the live? No, it's part of the system. So I mean, that's, we, that's we always intended to do both. Okay. You have to do both. The law is you have to stream, you have to have captions on live, and anything you caption on television has to be captioned on the internet. Right. So we have to do three things. We have to caption a live thing, caption the stream, and caption the um, the archive online. So okay. we're doing. Uh, we'll be able to do two things right away. <laughs> now, as soon as we get things to, if we can get to the television channel. We'll have the third. But we're just gonna go. We're gonna. We're not gonna wait to get the TV thing working. We're going ahead and working on getting it at least people most uh, many many people watch it on demand by mm -hmm. the internet so sure. we'll um, and it'll always it's you know that we might as well start with that and continue to work on the other okay and th did i remember hearing that so the live um the live web stream mm -hmm. that that's teleview is that um or uh, N uh the live Wait, Victor is the guy to ask how all of this meshes okay. together but well we when we put it live on television that's where we're not getting captions right. and that would also be what we would direct to the internet mm -hmm. so right now we're not captioning the live stream or the live broadcast right. or telecast as this is but we are able to do the rebroadcast right. and the archive which is sure. great yeah okay excellent thanks wow. okay any other questions for Becca on her report <coughs> okay let's move on now, the last meeting, uh, Joe had asked that we put about an uh, item on about progress with meeting with the county. And what my thought was, we you know we have a new board, we have new county administrators, and it would be good for us to reach out to them. We're seeing you, know, you saw Supervisor Leopold on there, and we actually had a chance to talk about this in the finance committee and. Uh, I agreed to contact the city officials, although the mayor just got interviewed, but some of the staff so they know what we're doing. I think some do, but they don't know the extent, so I'll do that. And Matreas was talking about reaching out to some of the county administrators. Uh, we know some, some are brand new. And it's just kind of a, an opportunity to reach out kind of in between, uh, you know, the budgets and in between all the other hurry of, of what we do. So that was really it. it, it mm -hmm. Somebody brought it up at our finance committee meeting. I asked to put it on here. And if anybody else has any other ideas, it's just kind of a touch base. And we used to do this a lot more in past years because there are more issues to talk about. Right now, we're actually moving forward. So it's probably a good time to show progress to people. Right. Yeah. And Tom, do you want to add anything? Because you worked in this kind of a field. No, I, no, I think you pretty much covered it. My thought was just, you know, it's it's nice to be talking to these to the people who have a vested interest in this when things are going well as opposed to when we have problems. <laughs> right. so I didn't want to that way, but that's true. <laughs> mm -hmm. well so I, I'll follow up at the city and then we'll just see. If I see any of them, I'll just yeah. mention it to, you know, in my moving around. and. You can report, if you could, to the city of Capitola. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. As the assistant city manager, you can report to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, as, as my director, Kevin gets to, uh, he gets to do drive-bys, we call them. You know, uh, normally, we want everybody to go through our help desk support system, but he, he gets to come to us directly. He gets that, uh, that privilege as our director. So next time he, he does a drive-by, I'll say, oh, by the way, <laughs> okay, <yeah. laughs> we'd love to meet with you uh, and show and you what's going TV on. people, yes. Yeah. Great. Well, that was it. Yeah. Great, thank you. Unless you had any insights you wanted to add to no. it. Oh, okay. No, I'm doing good. So next up is the oral report from the Volunteer Advisory Committee from the TOTA. All right. Uh, briefly, I want to focus on some of the things that are happening in the studio. Uh, we have a couple more people that uh, we are guiding through being or becoming or learning to become a, a producer and um, we also have some old timers starting new programs. Veterans, actually. <laughs> Not old timers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm one of them, so I can. Okay, you know, okay. I'll label I'll myself that. an old timer. <laughs> uh, I'm doing the Connect program, and uh, I have a lot of fun with that. Um, but we also have uh, Brian 
doing a new program and his focus is on real estate, which is something you know that we've never explored. So, um, but our producer, director, um, I would say guru, because she really teaches us a lot. She has put together for February 18th a green screen uh, afternoon wow. where uh, all of us are just going to get our hands dirty or not dirty because the green screen you know, needs virtually. to stay clean. Virtually. Virtually, <laughs> virtually we're going to get our hands on the green screen and, and uh, Keith and others are playing a major role in uh, teaching us more about green screen. So that's on February 18th for producers and directors. And I must let you know that in one of the programs that I uh, help produce uh, the future we need and how to get it, we use Skype at uh, one time with a woman from the EPA in New York, and uh, she was very uh, great. We had some technical issues, but we can do Skype on our, uh, on our, in our studio. So that was really interesting. So any producers out there who want to use the studio, uh, you can use Skype. Um, so then the other thing what we're trying to do and we'll have another VAC meeting soon uh, after all the holidays uh, we'd, we'd like to probably incorporate something that has been mentioned by several of our um, volunteer coordinators and it's having more field camera mm -hmm. people trained and now that we also have the editing uh, teacher doing regular uh, editing classes on on Saturdays and Sundays, you know, three hours on Saturdays, three hours on Sundays, um, and he also does Photoshop and After Effects. You know, people get a whole packet uh, together. So what we try to do is, after our next field camera class on the 20th of April, and some of the editing classes, that we'll get a crew of people together that will go out in the community and uh, will help, not necessarily just do it, because you know, we try to train people to do it themselves, mm -hmm. to train and help people who, who do their own events mm -hmm. and help them to record it and edit it. So that we kind of get a, a multiplier effect mm -hmm. of all the effort, the nice. efforts that our volunteers mm -hmm. are putting in. So I would say look for our uh, classes on, on the community TV that ORG and the field camera class on the 20th, and then let's get that, um, you know, crew together that goes out. Um, Keith, of course, when he does uh, nonprofit spotlight, he goes out and he took uh, Gene Kratzer last time. You know, this is a practice to go out and, and have uh, a little uh, rolling clip for the program, you know, taped here in the studio. So we'd like to, um, you know, our next best effort is to really because more people are comfortable going outside with the cameras mm -hmm. because it takes a lot doing mm -hmm. the programs in here. Gotcha. Of course, you know, PSAs are still happening for nonprofit spotlight, uh, for, for nonprofit organizations. We have nonprofit spotlight and we have the electives um, that you do every month, which is a really nice program. So uh, that's basically my report. Great. Excellent. Thank you. Unless you, of course, want to add some things. You're no, right. it goes right into my... If you could help yeah. me with yes. names of volunteers. I forgot to write them all down before we started. Um, the only thing I wanted to mention in the next item, the board chair report, is that we are planning to have a specific orientation for nonprofit organizations here in the county. We get contacted. Most, a lot of contacts we get from nonprofits are saying, could you cover our event? And CTV used to do that, but we don't have staff to do that anymore. So we want to train nonprofits. We want to get them together to help each other to cover field events. Um, of course, we're happy to charge people to cover their events, but most nonprofits, we understand, don't have a large budget. So we intend to do that. The, the main thrust is going to be to help nonprofits understand what they need to do to cover events in the field. And that our studio is available. They can take classes and learn just like anyone else to produce their own programs. That we have a PSA day every month. We have nonprofit spotlight. Uh, we have other, we have a community calendar that they can, all these things are on our website. They can use the community calendar. And then finally, we want to do something with the nonprofits to give them an example of how they can use their phone to do a public service announcement. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking of ending the orientation with something they can take away, a skill that they can learn of how to do their own, just a simple 
um, PSA. Mm -hmm. Because our channels are available to anyone in, those in this county to upload their material and are run on our channels. So if they could quickly do something to say, hey, we're having an event on the 15th and everyone yeah. will have a great time, come on down mm -hmm. uh, and upload it, we'd love to see that from more nonprofits. What great. is the date for that? Well, it was supposed to be Wednesday, but we haven't made it. So oh, we're hoping so to have it future. early February. So, so to be announced. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So let's see. On the agenda, the next item are staff requests or board requests for specific items to appear on the next meeting agenda. Do we have any? Okay. Seeing none, we'll move on to announcements. And in announcements, I'd like to thank everyone that's uh, helped on the program tonight. And with Matilda's help here, I've got most of the names. If I forget one, please understand. I'm trying to <laughs> like to thank Kendra Leon, Linda Janakis, Karen Scott, Jim Russo, Sherry Ross, Richard Gisell, and Don helping out on the audio, and Annie Newman in here. Thank you for helping with the production tonight. And if there aren't any more issues, then I will I'll call for a motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll call for the motion to I'll adjourn the meeting. That. Brand and Fisher. Okay. And all those in favor of adjournment say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> the meeting officially adjourned at 6.02 p.m. <laughs>